Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. This is video four um, of my four Goodwill blue box jewelry, five pound repurposed jewelry boxes I got. Um, so this is the last of the boxes and we're gonna go through this. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to show you guys all of the single earrings that I was able to match. Um, this, these lots did have a lot of littles, as you can see, so does this one. Um, so please bear with me. And these are, I, I got them all from the same place. They all came from, uh, Lake Worth, Florida. So if you are interested in anything you see, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And let's get into it. So I've been putting a lot of stuff into craft so I kind of just pick through some of the things um, that I'm not interested in selling or and or that you know just is not is just not okay <laughs> so like you know okay for sale oh as that bead goes across my desk like this you know but that could be repurposed so the craft lot it goes yeah this is okay mm. sometimes the damage is just too much to try to um you know salvage okay so let's see what this is we have a cute little flower um not flower feather Oh, this is actually fossil. That's interesting. So here's a, it's, I mean, it's not in bad shape. I can probably just clean it up a little bit. It is a leather strap, a le leather cord with the feather and some stones. They are all there. And there's the fossil. So let's do a four on that. That's pretty cute. Um. This brooch, I don't see a maker, but we'll do three on that one. This is going to be a no for me. What's this? Bulati? I've never heard of that. Don't really know why there's that ring on there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I mean, it looks kind of nice. Let's do a little research, shall we? So we're gonna go into eBay and we're going to look up bracelet. Oops, not bracelet. Okay, so this brand seems to do pretty well. There's only three that are actually for sale right now and let's check solds here that's that's the exact one i have just the class was different and it sold for 42 dollars from the united kingdom with 2466 shipping so and look at all these wow this is actually a super high-end brand look at that 419 sold okay so this is definitely a winner I'll probably list this. I'll probably clean it up and list it online for about 40 Maybe less because there's a little bit of wear. Um, if anyone's interested, I would probably do like 25 Okay, so let's look at this. Oh, it's... Nope. nope see, that's definitely a no. This one's kind of cool. Wow, look at that. Um, it is adjustable. It's just a fashion little costume ring but it is in good condition. So we can just do four on that one. Let's get rid of that little hair because that's gross. So, okay, we're missing something there and it is not in good condition. So that'll be craft. That's really pretty. Ooh, I like that. So we'll put that, I don't know if I found that mate. You know, we're on the fourth video, so I really don't remember, but we're going to save it. 
I do remember saving that little bow, so we'll have that mate. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, we can try to see if we have that mate. What is that? Oh, it's a brooch. So it's a piece of a brooch, brooch that fell off. So that's definitely a no. Oops. Runaway beads are a no. And pieces of stuff. Oh, look, here's another wine charm. So I'll add that. We have three now. I think I saved this single earring. That's cute <laughs> with a feather on it, but that's craft. Eh, it's all scratched up. That's pretty. Um, hmm. I don't see any makers. It's definitely not silver. It's a little tight for me, so I'm not going to put it on that finger, but that is super cute. And it's in pretty good condition. Of course, it's going to prove me wrong. It doesn't it doesn't look like silver to me. So, yeah, it's scratching red, so I'm going to say that's a no. Yep. I'm correct. Okay. But we can still sell it for $4 and it is a size six and a half. It's in pretty good condition. All right, um, those are no's. I think we had this mate, so let me save that. No, these are no's. Before you guys toss earrings, make sure you always check the posts. Um, some they could be 14 karat. There's this little thing, but it is not in good condition. So we're just gonna craft that and that. I don't I don't, don't like the earring backs with these on it. You can take that plastic off, but sometimes it could be rather difficult. <laughs> That's just garbage. That's a little stone. That back I can keep. A little shoe pin, cute, but craft. Okay, so um, I think, oh, that's pretty. Carol Lee, okay, I see you, we'll save you. Let's just do my vacuum, and all this stuff will likely go into craft. As long as it's in, I mean, that one's okay, we can save that one. Yeah, and all these are gonna go. That one's kind of cool too. We can save that one. That's a no. Oh yes. I do remember holding on to that little spidey earring. So yes, we do have the mate for that one. That's gonna be cool. Yay. That's that's a no. Okay. All these beads. No, 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 no. All right, let me pause you guys and I'll come back if anything is okay, nothing exciting. I just accept some earring backs that I saved for myself. These faux pearl beads are gonna be the death of me. Let's get them out of here. Oh, there's a cloisonne bead. Oh, I have that match. See that? Within four boxes, they distribute all these earrings. That's so unfair. It's like you have to buy multiples just to make sure you get <laughs> your matches. So that says, oh, Kenneth Lane. Okay. So that's a clippy. We'll hold on to that. It's in good shape. Um, that's going to be a no for me. A little ghost earring. No. So we have some 1928 earrings. Ooh, those backs are not good. But I do want to show you. So 1928 has their signature. They don't sign their stuff, but they put this little um, swirly pattern on the back of all of their jewelry. So that is a telltale sign that that is 1928 brand. Um, these are in good condition, just the backs are not the greatest. So... Um, 
I will replace the backs if anyone wants to buy these for five. Wow, that is a teeny tiny little bracelet. That'll be craft. Craft, craft. All these are just craft pieces. Not, not into it. Sorry, guys. That one would actually make a pretty cool magnet. Pretty cool piece of uh, craft, too. So this is bone. Hand-painted little bone pendant. I'll do two on if anybody's interested. Ooh, look at this ring. Wow. Ooh-wee. I don't think it's precious metal. Mm-hmm. I mean, this, these lots are really just challenging me, huh? <laughs> Let's see. No, it is not. But it is still very pretty. I don't even think it's going to be a stone. It looks kind of scratched, so it's probably just plastic, but it's still very pretty. Look at the side. Oh, I love it. Very pretty. Let's do five on that. It's in good condition. And it's a size six and a half. Very pretty. That's a cool little craft piece. That's a no. That's a pierced earring, but it's all bent up, so that's a no. Same with that one. Oh, that looks cool. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, yes. Cool. So here's that other piece, but I think it's broken. What did the bottom of that look like? Let me see. So it was a big dangly pearl. Ugh. If we can, fi if we can find that. And I didn't already put it in craft, but I'll see. So let's put those on the side. Look at this. A nice wood ring. It is not in the best condition. You know, let's just test everything silver today. This is probably not going to be silver either. Nope. So, um, I don't know if I'm not going to sell that. That's really gross. That's craft. Okay, this says grandma, so we are going to look into this to see if it's gold. That's a no. Let me just take a closer peek. No. Okay. That's a no, that's a no. I may have saved that one, I don't remember. No. Ew. That looks like it's just pop metal. That says Lisner, but it's all broken. So that's going to be a no. That's a no. Okay, a lot of this is no. Here's another stamped penny. Here's a ring. See, this is the goods, the littles I like because you'll get rings in it. So this is a Sarah Coventry ring. Not bad. That's cute. It's It's got a little bit of wear to it, I'm not going to lie. It's adjustable. So right now it's probably sitting at a six and a half or so. Uh, yep. So we'll just do three on that one since it's got a little bit of wear. None of these Kentucky Derby things do anything. Oh, look, here's another charm. Yay! I believe we have a set of four now, so we'll hang on to that, see if there, see if we come across any more. Okay, this one I think I had two, so we'll hold on to that. Oh, what's this one? That's a no. Let's look at this. Don't see any markings. It is magnetic. 
Um, it's got, it's a little dirty, but I may be able to clean it up. But, you know, just do two bucks on that. All right, well, look at this ring, I guess. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. So I think it's just metal. Ay, ay, ay. This video is making me look like I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but then when I test it and it's not sterling, then I'm right and I look smart. <laughs> so it's not sterling. So there we go. It is adjustable. That is probably, it is definitely a real stone. That's pretty cool if I don't say so myself. Um, right now it's sitting at a small size, but like I said, it is adjustable. It's a six. Um, let's do six on that, six on six. All right. Um, let me go through all this and I'll come out with some stuff Okay, so in that little pile, I just found some more earring backs and actually some of these lobster claws. So I kept those. And let's move on. Oops, oh my god, these faux pearl are just going everywhere. Oh, yeah. That's a no. It's hard to resell paparazzi when they're only five dollars to start all right so a lot of this i'm going to be cleaning up without you guys because look at all these little beads and stuff it is just crazy um but let's take a look at the bigger stuff What in the heck happened here? Okay, well, you know what? Both are not in good condition, so they're both going into craft. This is kind of cool. This is a glass bead necklace. Um, let's do four on that. That's pretty cool. We have a big brooch. Do three on her. We have these pearls with, I don't know what happened here, but that's going to have to go into crafting as well. Ay, ay, ay. Yep, that fell on the floor. That, I think, was that here I see it hold on yep broke so that's a dub here's some clip-ons put together ew there's a hair on it they're not in good condition so that's a no that's broken that little guy is cool the clip-on part is not really the greatest but we'll hang on to him just in case that's pretty neat, a nice little pendant. We'll do four on that. Ooh, yes, we did have the other one to that. All these are no, 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 definitely a no. All right, so let me go through all of this and okay, I will be So back. I did find a couple single earrings that I know I have the mates for, so there they go. These, This is actually sterling, um, so we'll hold on that too. And these, um, this will just be a dollar. And these are some um, single earrings. Okay. I'll probably do two more little sessions like this. And then we'll go into the... Oh, and I also found a up here a couple um, sterling silver earring backs and some jump rings and um, lobster clasps. Okay, so this is another shield. I don't know what that is, but that's going to be a no for me. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, I already see a missing stone, but that's on the clasp, so it's not really going to be seen. 
Oh, it's Swarovski. Yay. Look at that. Um, so if you guys don't know, I am a consultant for Touchstone Crystal by, by Swarovski, which is a catalog only delivered to your door, Swarovski. Um, I'll put the link in my description box if you want to check out our February sale. We have a sale every month, 40% off certain jewelry. We also have a, a new spring-summer catalog with 63 new pieces of jewelry, so make sure you check that out. Um, so this is okay. I'm still going to sell this even though there's one missing and I'll do 12 on this. This is really cool. Uh, that's a no. No. No and no. Oh, look, here's the other one. Yay. I did save it. This one I might've saved too. So yes. Ooh, this is probably silver. Yep, I can see right in there. Taxco 925. So that's a yes. Let's do um, 12 on that. This is a no. That's a no. Oh, look at this chunker. Made in Israel. Okay, 925. Yes, yes. Look at this bigger, big chunker. I know you guys like the Israel rings. This really does not feel like silver or metal at all. It's very weird. Uh, you know what? Let's just test it just to be safe because it it it's probably hollow because it feels so lightweight. Yeah, it's definitely silver. So let's do um, let's do fifteen on that. And let's get you guys a size. We'll call this the Herman Munster ring. <laughs> uh, it's a seven. It's got like a platform. That's so funny. Very cool. Made in Israel, 925. It is stamped in there. 15. That's a no. 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 Oh, wait. That's a brooch. This is fabric. This is interesting. I'll have to do some testing on that. Well, that's Monet. Uh, I don't think I have a mate, but we'll save it just in case. That's a no, it's a no. Uh, I guess we can try that. I'm not sure about the meat on that one. That's a Trifari. We can hang on to that. Ooh, we have a dirty little girl <laughs> with some... They're not hematite. It's just like a dark rhinestone. It's definitely modern and it's got some wear, so we'll only do two on that one. We may have saved this earring, I don't remember. Same with that, maybe. That's a no. All right, so let me go through this and okay, I'll come I'm back. Right. And I did find some things. <laughs> These are sterling silver, but they're just a glass stone, so I will be scrapping those. This was so black, I really was gonna just throw it right out. This is actually sterling silver, and hold on, let me just check the stones again. I don't, I mean, it's not fully reaching the amethyst line. Hmm, I'll just show you guys, because it's not quite going to the amethyst line I may need to recalibrate my like I may need to adjust it on the side over here but I mean it wouldn't it's not that far but see how it doesn't quite go it's kind of in the garnet tourmaline iolite or the chrysophrase emerald nephrite so let me know what you guys think 
but that is sterling silver. So let me know what you guys think on that. And then I did find a whole bunch of these single earrings that I believe I have the mates on. That's actually a match right there. Um, that one as well. I know I have the match. Hold on, I didn't test that. Nope, that's nothing. Okay, so those will go into my single earring pile. And this... This, ladies and gentlemen, is the match to the 14 karat gold post that I found. And that's probably Onyx. Let's just see. Is it a color? Ooh, it kind of looks, kind of looks like a color. I don't know. I'll have to look. Let me just see. I'll have to look closer, but that's 14 karat gold, and I know I have the mate to that. So, moving right along, we'll get the last little bits out of here. Oops, almost got a runaway bead. Ugh, that's so gross at the bottom. It's like confetti. Okay, so let's go through this pretty quickly. I also washed my hands because they were disgusting. Just taking out everything that I would think is just craft, not really. Ooh, yes, that's the other Taxco earring score. So I guess you have to buy like four lots at once to get anything. <laughs> to get any of your um, matches. Yes, that's actually the pendant and brooch to the earring that we found, but I don't know about the earring, but that's a winner. That's sterling silver and probably turquoise. Definitely native, awesome. This is garbage, well, crap. Do, 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 no, that is a definite no. Hmm, that's kind of cool. I can make that into a magnet for somebody. This is a golf club and like a faux croc background. If anybody would want me to do that, I could probably do that for you if you know a golfer. No, ah, uh, no. Oh, yes, here's that other sterling earring that I just found. Yay! That's cool. I like this. That's a little brooch. A little clear bead. Clear cabochon. We'll do three on that one. That one's pretty. We can save that for a mate. That one is nice. That's a no. All right, so let me go through here. And I will see what I can find. And okay, I'll this be right is the back. last of it. <laughs> so I found this cutesy little um, cat pendant. So we can do three on that. This M pendant. Do three on that. I wanted to show you guys. This is 14 karat gold. I'm not sure if there was a mate. I'll check. And this is actually 14 karat gold. See, you gotta check all the backs. And it is marked, it's 14 karat white gold. And it's marked uh, right there. So now I'm going to, um, I'll, I'll save this. Actually, probably not, because it's white gold. I don't know, I'll, I'll put it to the side for now. So now I do have a whole mess of these. Oh, wait, that's nothing. So if anyone's interested in these hooks, I have more, I'm just getting them. Let me know and I'll do all of these for $2. Okay. All right, so now let me get all the mates and I'll okay, be right guys, back. the sun is starting to set. Uh, the lighting is a little different, I'm sorry. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you things first and I'm asking you guys if you want anything. For example, this 
is a single earring, but I think the elephant is really cool. So if you guys want the elephant, he's made out of bone. He's a dollar. This is the Kenneth Lane clip-on. There is no match to it. It is marked, not Kenneth J. Lane, Kenneth Lane, right there. And I'll do four on that. Um, you can make it into a magnet, I don't know. This, we did not have the mate on. This is that, the one my husband said, I think he said it was, I don't remember, class, I don't know. Um, I thought it was Weiss, but I don't think so. Anyway, if anyone's interested, make that into a magnet as well if you want. Um, let's just do like two on that. These are the 14 karat gold earrings, earring posts. Um, I'll do 25 on these. I don't know if this is onyx or what. It's definitely a stone. It, they're pretty heavy. Um, so I don't have any gold backs. I can put regular backs on for you, or I could put sterling backs on for you if you have um, a sensitivity to metal. So just let me know in the email if you're interested for 25. Then these were the native earrings. They are sterling. I do not, I didn't find the mates. I'm so upset. So if anyone was interested in these, I would do um, like five a piece. I don't know. Um, okay, now for this for the matches, I did I did not find the match to this, so this is probably just a dress clip and not a shoe clip. But I think it's very cool. It is missing some stones, but I will I'll do four on that. All right, um, I didn't find the pearl to this, so you guys can either take the pearl off or you know, I don't know, do what you want with these, but these are really, really pretty. And I'll do four on those. All right, now, here are all the mates. So let's dive into it. I have these, we'll do $2. These, $2. And remember, put the timestamp in the email or the screenshot because if you just say I want the pink earrings, I'm I'm not gonna know what you're talking about. <laughs> I did find these, so we'll do two dollars. Two dollars. I did find the Joan Rivers clip-ons. Well, my husband helps me. I have to give him the credit, too. <laughs> um, these are five. Um, then I did find the mate to this. These were the Lace Bernard. So those are five clip-ons. I have these. Mother of Pearl, I think. Um, these are five. And, I'll, and the ones that don't have backs, I can put backs on for you, no problem. These I found. These will be three. You see okay? Yeah, I think so. These, which are super cool. Do four on those. I did have these. These are wood. Let's do three. These little cuties, two dollars. So we have two sets of the Kenneth Cole with the cool um, back that says Kenneth Cole. So they're um, going to be five each. And I can clean them up. Oh, God, I can't hold them. Uh, they are purple, very large studs, five each. Got these little button clip-ons. We'll do two. 
I know clip-ons aren't really the most popular, but people still wear them. I did find these cool ones. It does look like it's like um, some kind of material in there. Oh, cool. Okay. He just found two more. <laughs> um, so this, these are really cool. Uh, I'm going to do five on these. They do have a little bit of a like scratch, but these are cool. And I was happy about these. Those are five. These are the, um, you can wear them two ways. So those are four. I did find these cute birds. Oh, this one's missing the eye. Um, I don't know if anyone wants that. I'll just do a dollar on them then. That stinks. Okay, then I found these clip-ons. So those will be two, two, and they're pierced. Little butterflies. Oh, is that missing a stone? Yep. This one's missing a stone right in the center. I'll just do a dollar. These we recently saw. I don't believe these are a real stone. They're not cold to the touch, but they're pretty blue. Do you guys see that? A blue, I mean green, geez Louise. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the hell? <laughs> um, yes, this was, this was the match. Babe, I told you I found the match, it's right here. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, so this, these are matched. These are very old. These are very cool. These are Dwayne. Now let's look that up because I've never heard of that. Dwayne rhinestone uh, screwbacks. All right, so like 10 bucks. All right, so... That's fine, I'll do five on these. They're very pretty. Uh, then we got these green little hoopies, whoopy hoopies, <laughs> do four on those. We have the, oops, I think this one's messed up, hold on. There we go. So these are clip-ons, but these are also pretty old. The rhinestones, we'll do three on those, they're not marked. We have these little leaves. They're not gold. Um, we'll do two on those. We have some gold and silver tone rope. I don't believe these were marked. The earring backs do not match, so I can always match them if anybody wants them. They're four. Uh, I don't see the match for this one here. <laughs> I must have dropped it somewhere. Okay, we'll just leave that out. Uh, then I told you guys I did f see the match for these cute little spider studs. They are adorable. They are four. Okay, now we have, let's see. These. <sighs> Clara. something. I can't read that. I forget if these were sterling or not. No. So these are four. There's the mark in there. All right, now we have some sterling. So we have these. These are, that's probably uh, turquoise beads. They do need to be cleaned up a little bit, but let's do 10 on those little hooks. And they are marked sterling back there. The pieces that are marked sterling as opposed to 925 are a little bit older. So those are cool. And then we have these honkers. So these are the last ones. 
These are Taxco. I'm sorry, no, these are Rage 925 Thailand. So I don't know anything about that brand either. Rage 925 earrings. Okay. Well, maybe like 20 bucks. 20, 25 they're going for. So that's fine. Um, let's do 15 on these. Okay, so that's everything, guys. Oh my God, we got through 20 pounds total of Goodwill Blue Box in four videos. Thank you guys so very much for sticking to the end. Um, I don't know what to. I don't know what to say. I just really appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you guys so much for all your comments and your support. Click the thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Make sure you should you subscribe. Click the bell notification so you are notified when I put out another video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.